Man, always sleeping with his dusty lips. Get off! Oh, oh dusty uh, uh, lips. Uh, Play the video. Uh, you ain't gotta do me like that. Shut up! Play the video. Shut up! Well, excuse me. Let me start that video, Dan. How you doing? It's Trajini, and we back with that damn Skyrim and the Rumai. Like, oh my god. I'm gonna be honest with you. I had quite, I still have no idea how the hell I don't have my Dovahim powers. Now, I'm an idiot. So they did say in the beginning that this is like a, a completely like a mod overhaul thing in Majig. So I, I could just not be Dovahim at all during this entire game. And I'm not gonna lie to you. That sounds kind of depressing. Like I can't. Boost! Boost! Roda! Like, are you serious? That don't even sound legal. I leveled up. You've risen to level 6. You received 5 learning points, 4 crafting points, and 1 memory point. <laughs> My health is looking kind of trash. Let's get some health. Like, health never hurt nobody, right? Within Ark, you may also use the signpost to travel back and forth between the different districts. To do so, just walk in front of a signpost. I, I figured you just walked up to it, dog. So I walked all the way to this, this main city. Finally. Now, my question first off, the game audio kind of low. Let me fix that. I'm not going to cap to you, my boy. I have no idea what to do in this damn town. Where's the quest at? Meet just bar at the marketplace? Let me receive this Redrick bounty. Right? Let me go meet Jekka Flicka Fluka. And let me go find out what this weird ass arcane fever I got. Yo, chat, I've been sick with this weird arcane flu since I got the game. Bro, that was days ago. I don't even... Oh, lovely adherers of the crunchy pleasures. Crow in delight as your teeth sink into a golden brown loaf of our unrivaled fresh and Excuse me? Bread. Hmm? Is it important? What'd you, what'd you say about men? You, she probably scorned or something. A scorned woman? Damn. Walk blessed, my friend. You look disheartened. I have just the right thing for you. A visit to our gallery. Dozens of beautiful paintings. No, I'm good. How you doing? Hmm? Is it important? Why Boy, is that y'all catchphrase? Uh -huh. Is it important? Uh -huh. travel, huh? Just, just a regular greeting would be fine. Let me see what this marketplace got. Shut up, kid. Are you the guy I'm meeting at the damn marketplace? How you doing? Well, look who's oh, this guy. I forgot. I forgot. You he came here. Finding your way around? This city can be quite a maze if you don't know it. Can we skip the chatter, brother? I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm just trying to kill something. Well, you certainly know how to make friends. But so be it. Keep your chin up. After decades of imprisonment by his treacherous son, return to his position as Grand Master Man, just strip of the Order. The esteemed Trachesha, Natara Danvarim. Go, damn! You over here pausing for? Now, what are we doing? Cause you ain't tell me a damn thing. You, you just said, all right, let's go. On this point without explicit permission. Who are you and what leads you to this holy place? Excuse me? Business. I'm Jaspar Belveric, and I work for the Naramese mages. Mm-hmm. Oh, right. The mercenary. And who's your companion? Yeah, mind your business. Marija de Luna from Ostia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Esteemed holder of de Luna's empire of tender fragrance. Mm -hmm. Most prestigious perfumery in all of Vin. Mm-hmm. Arch Magister Marigil sent for. Didn't he tell you? The Arch Magister. 
Well, that does sound like him. Fair enough, he may pass. But show this place the respect it deserves, mercenary. Oh, she's an idiot. You too, my Dame Deluna. You have my word, fair lady. Thank you. You didn't want any proof that I'm carrying this perfume, um, no? What do you want? Damn, that easy, huh? Damn. I would never entrust her to guard any of my belongings. Mm. Damn. This is holy ground, Outlander. You don't belong here. Excuse me? Huh? Well, that one. Unexpected. Who, who's that fragrance thing? What are you talking about? What was that? Hey, it worked, didn't it? That's all that matters. Nobody will suspect someone who's already in the temple. Anyway, I think it's about time I tell you a little bit more about this employer of mine. Yeah, please do. His name is Constantine Firespark, and he's one of Marathsel Orenthiel's former followers, which the new Grand Master, Teolor Orenthiel, brought here by ship about two years ago. That means he's one of the former arch enemies of the Order. Okay. They usually wear green, while the Order wears white or red. That should make it easy for you to tell them apart. Firespark's pretty much the eldest of Marathsel's mages, and quite well versed in magic, at least from what I've heard. Okay. Plus, he's a very gentle and likable fellow, which is why even the keepers like having him around. Let's hope he can tell us a thing or two about these visions and help you get rid of the fever. Come, follow me. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I, I don't know about y'all, but this is kind of smell like a, uh, a setup. I, I could be wrong though. It's just you know. I, I don't. Tragedy don't believe in like happy endings like that. You know, not not in games like this. Not in these. These war games, you know? They're about to jump me in this damn castle, watch. Go ahead. R run run to your commander or whatever the hell. Watch it be a whole Daedric Prince or something. Unreliable. That's what they are. All of them. Hmm? All right, here we are. Hmm. Hang on. No, 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 no. That's not how you do it. Blast it. I'm just being careful. We like have heck to... we do. Give me that Blazes. thing. Now. I just can't bloody believe The hell they doing it? Ouch. <laughs> Blasted, blistering blazes. I, uh, that's blazes. what you get for working with fumblers. <clears throat> I told you. Most of fire spark. Be careful. What? Now who the heck are you? Can't an old man have a moment to himself? Um, you hired me. The Magister, don't you remember? Yeah, he forgot about you. Oh, right. Joseph the Scrounger. So Damn. why are you here? Had any luck? Just spar. And yeah, we did find something. I... Suggest you first of all tell me when I allowed you to drag your flings up here. Do you need me to explain the meaning of the words highly and confidential to you? Yeah, he thinks you're an idiot, bro. I'm sure there's a lot you can explain to me, but let's save that for later. This particular lady over here needs your help, to be frank. Arcane fever. Is that so? And what exactly has that got to do with me? Let the keepers and their Yo, this dude's a douchebag. take care of it. What is it with the costume, anyway? This woman's magic is different, my sir. Just feel her aura, and you'll see it. Plus, she's from Narim, just as you are. Uh, well, all right then, for nostalgia's sake. I really hope you're not wasting my time, though. Working with these religious buffoons is bound to make any rational thinking person go bonkers. Anyway, that chair over there. Take a seat, and I'll have a look at that fever of yours. You ain't got no manners, bruh. All right then. This will tickle a little. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. This aura does feel different, complex somehow, and mm, powerful. Yeah. And do you really want to tell me you've only recently discovered that talent of yours? With that aura, I'm surprised that you haven't turned into an Obaya by now. What is that? Hmm. Fine, fine. I, I, well, that is, we will help you. But first, tell me everything. How you got that magic, and how you met that scrounger. Hmm? Uh, 
I don't know how I got the damn magical powers. Yeah. Hmm, I see. Regarding this vision thing, I think that your mind simply played a trick on you there. Not that it's much of a surprise, considering what you've been through. Actually, you were quite lucky that the sudden outburst of your glance didn't blow your head right off. Hmm? What's a glance? Oh, uh, by all that's holy, I won't start playing your tutor now. Why? But help me! If you don't know about the basic functioning of magic, then read something from Balador Goldenstein. He th The glance on the sea of eventualities. Alongside, but apart from the reality we're in right now, exist countless other realities, in which some events have different outcomes, so to speak. Mm hmm a version of this very same room, for example, with the very same people in it, only that Meister Firespark's beard is on fire. And what defines an arcanist, someone capable of magic, is that he or she can see those other realities and let parts of them come true. Well, look at that, Jasper. Okay. You surprise me. That's what I'm being paid for. <laughs> How powerful an arcanist is depends on three factors. Mm hmm how far away are the eventualities that he can see, mm -hmm. how well he can bring parts of them into our reality, and finally, how well his mind can handle seeing other realities simultaneously with ours. Mm -hmm. Lighting a candle is easier than calling a meteor from the sky to speak plain in Al, but as I said, read Goldenstein if you're interested in the topic. I'm not going to waste any time with lectures. Clearly. And this chapel on the water, every time I touch one of those stones, I feel as if I don't know, as if something comes back to me. Well, that's probably a sign that you should go easier on the booze. Skill, whether of physical or magical nature, isn't gained through touching some stones, but through hard work I don't and drink. discipline. Even though this screwball Endrelay and talk of paths and predeterminations tries to tell us otherwise. I didn't imagine them. They, they felt different. Somehow real. Oh, well, if that's what you want to believe, go for it. I, in any case, have never come across such a phenomenon in over 50 years of studying magic. And now we should... It all begins with the dreams. What the? Blasted, blistering blazes! Does this room look like the bosom of a whore to you? Or what makes you think you can go around touching anything you get your fingers on? These documents are confidential for heck's sake. I knew it was a mistake to hire a thug like you. Lashery always had a weakness for- Correct me if I'm wrong, but I remember you telling me something about dreams that led you and Teal or Renthiel here, didn't you, my sir? And you told me that in this vision of yours, the veiled woman said this. It all begins with the dreams. Mm hmm? What? Is that true? Yeah. Oh. Then, this near-death experience you had before you woke up on the shore. Tell me again, what exactly did you see in it? A room? Mm-hmm. Charred bodies, but their flesh was unnatural gray, and I heard all their voices. Hmm. Well, this... This is strange, indeed. Wait, why? Anyway, for now all that matters is that we get that magic of yours under control. Whatever you clairvoyanced back there is of no use to us if you're dead as a doornail in a couple of months. How, how you gonna do that? Well, that's usually a plodding process. The fever you feel is a result of your mind not being able to handle all of these possibilities, so mm -hmm. to speak. The ritual the Endraleans practice to get the glance under control is called the journey to the water. Mm -hmm. Put frankly, it means one year of hour-long meditation, bland food, and abstinence from anything that makes life worth living. In due time, the Arcanist then learns to filter these other realities from ours, and the fever gets less and less. Anyhow, luckily enough, we Neremis know of a way to quicken that process. A shortcut, if you will. I'm not capable of performing it, but another one of us is. Her name is Lashery, and you should seek her out as soon as possible. Of course, because I am not trying to do this bland food crap. 
What's she get? She's currently in a ruin called Old Rationgrad, not far from Ark. Just tell her that I sent you. Ah, give me that map of yours. Okay, now you'd have to be a total idiot to miss it. I recommend leaving for the ruin straight away. And you, Joseph, you're going to come with me and show me what your trip to the Sun Coast brought forth. Hopefully, more than a bottle of honey wine and a hangover. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Quite a character, isn't he? But I like him somehow. He's a douchebag. Here, I owe you this for your help back in Riverville. Uh, and in case you're in the mood for a mug of ale and a good chat, just drop by the Dancing Nomad in the Stranger's Quarter. I'll get myself a room there for the time being. Okay. With all that said, good luck mastering your magic, my fair lady. I'll see you around. Oh, he gave me a he gave me a solution to my problem. During the main story of Enderal, you had the opportunity to deepen your bond with several persons. Caution: these missions are available forever. If the main story progresses too far, the storyline of some person stay hidden. Yeah, I'm not gonna cat dog. I n none of you really uh, intrigue good old trad, so. Don't give a damn about deepening anything with any of you. Now hold on. Every day like the last? Where's the quest where I gotta freaking talk to La Shasha? This one? Here we go, that one. Cause we gotta get we gotta get rid of this damn mom. Beaver, bro. It's getting me a little aggro. This is holy ground, Outlander. No, you don't the belong here. Ordered me back. This is holy ground, Outlander. Shut up. Yes. What the hell is that? Walk less, my lady. Where do you need to go? What is this thing? How about pirates? What does there tell? The beautiful animals, majestic and wild, and dangerous if you're unlucky enough to run into an untamed one. In the time before the Blood Moon Revolt, a long time ago, tame pirates like this one here was a really rare sight. Nowadays, though, they're pretty common. At least here at Enderal. Cool, Getting cool, cool, somehow. cool. So, so how, how do I work this thing? Oh, well, that's hard to explain. They communicate by clicking sounds. I, as a warden, have been trained to hear them, but you probably can't. And through those clicking sounds, I also tell them where you want to go before you mount them. Obviously, that only works for routes that the Myrith already knows by heart. Mm-hmm. I right, give me a flight, bro. Sure. Where to? Northern in Heartland. I'm about to really fly this damn thing? Oh, shoot. I'm flying a Maraha God Maraha. That's pretty cool. Oh, it brought me pretty close to where she, uh, this Lashasha person live at. That's what I'm talking about. Yo, Lashasha. Yo. Yo, Lashasha. Is she in a dwarven? What's the music for? Oh, God! Not the bear sneaking up on me like that. Hold on. You put that armor on, you know what I'm saying? Give this bear the smoke. Hey, yo, bear, bear. You ready to die? Any last words? Come here, bear, bear. Come here, bear, bear. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you running. Trash, garbage. Oh my! Trash. Ooh. Bruh. Oh, he. He gave me the bear bite bite four thousand deluxe combo. Now hold on, the way he bit into my jugular eye. I don't appreciate that. Hold on, we gonna we gonna we gonna we gonna run that ballot back. Hold on, we ain't gonna kill me like that. You damn stupid damn bear. Fight me again, stupid dummy, baka. I got you. You missed. Yeah, keep roaring like an idiot. 
Yeah. All that noise for what? All that no. Look at you. You hit nobody. Looking stupid. Can you believe that bear said? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And killed me. Like, we, no, we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna kill me like that. No. Lashasha, you owe me a life, cause I, I done died just to meet you, girl. Y'all better, y'all better fix my damn arcane fever. I ain't playing with you. Fix my damn fever. Where she at? Lashasha. Lashia, I need a light. I don't have a lantern button. Dream, dream eat. I'll take it. Hmm. on, dum 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 dum. Nah, I'm good. Now, if you have some iron for me, I'll take some iron. You know what I'm saying? We get that. We get that. We get a uh, die right there. Mm -hmm. Shit. What? Get away from there now! Yo, douchebag. By the prophet's ass, one second later, and I would have been scraping your remains off the floor. I didn't even move though. What in blazes are you doing here anyway? I'm looking for your crusty behind. Bashiri? <laughs> oh my. The fellow really isn't one for names, is he? I'm Lashari. Damn. But never mind that. At least it proves you're not lying. Anyhow, I hope you're not the backup I asked for. I was hoping for someone more, um, impressive. No offense. Why do I say these things? Why do people say these things and then think the minute they say no offense, my feelings just heal? I'm offended. You douchebag. No, no, you're, 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 you're dusty looking. No offense. What? Y you think that negated it or something? Like, what, what is this? You say you could perform some kind of ritual on me to help me with the, with the magic control. Is that so? Hmm. Indeed. With my camera. You have some uncontrolled magic inside you. <laughs> and quite a lot of uncontrolled magic. Not bad. I've never felt anything like this before. Yeah, cool. Fix me. Very well. If Constantine insists, I will perform the ritual on you. But it'll have to wait, since I'm up to my neck in this shit, as you've probably noticed. Short version or long version? Which do you prefer? I don't care that much. Give me the short version. We got ambushed. Why and by who, I have no idea. But I'd guess they're mercenaries. They must have found a hidden entrance, because one moment, I was upstairs and inspecting our mules. The next, I'm down in the ruin to find it flooded by these fuckers. Watch your mouth. Now, here's the thing. All my scrolls and the artifacts we've been searching for are still down there. As are my assistant and his Indralean colleagues. And before you ask, yes, you can help me. You'll have to, actually, if you want me to tame your magic. I wouldn't have a chance fighting the mercenaries by myself, but the two of us might be able to do it, provided you can defend yourself, which I'm quite sure you can. What do you say? Are you, you ready? You was looking for somebody impressive, but you're trash enough to get attacked and destroyed by mercenaries and bandits? H how many are we talking about? H how many? Give me a number. No idea. But I don't think there are more than a dozen. Also, they don't anticipate any resistance, which is to our advantage. Alright. More than a dozen. Alright, that ain't nothing. Let's go. Fine, then follow me. And keep your weapons ready. I think I just heard footsteps down there. Yeah, you gotta hold on. My mouse is acting stupid. And I got this dumb doofy hat on. Let me take that hat off. You know what I'm saying? I probably, I probably sell it actually. Don't leave without me, girl. Don't get your ass beat. Let me Shit, you were right. Get them. Just fly. <laughs> Bye. You ignore me looting them every time. Oh, he ain't got nothing. Trash. Oh, yeah, they ain't really got much, huh? 
Yeah, they do not really have a city guard. Trash. Get up off her, bro. Get up off her. Three dollars? Damn, y'all on a budget. Stabbed like a pig. We, hang on. What's this? What? What's the matter? By the prophet's ass. I don't know what that means. I don't believe it. By the prophet's ass is kind of wild. Their orders. My assistant, Sev. It seems he's the reason these fuckers managed to take us by surprise. Oh! So sorry for your loss, I guess. Save it for Sev when I shove the staff up his ass and fire a thunderbolt. Watch your mouth! Damn. You're vulgar behind. We need light. I, I can't. Girl, I can't see a damn thing. Where you at? Don't leave me alone. Where, where you going? Come on, lead, lead the way. Go ahead. Shit, can you smell that? That's fire. So, these guys really are trying to destroy our research. <sighs> we have to do something. You're adept at magic, right? Take this spell and use it to put out the fires. If I'm right, the mercenaries are trying to destroy the stone fragments, and we have to stop them. You take the lower part of the ruin. Try to save as many stones as you can. I'll take the upper part, and when it's all done, we'll meet here again. Oh, and one more thing. Mm -hmm. If you should find my assistant Sev down there, try to take him alive and bring him to me. I want to take care of him myself, okay? Then let's get going. Fire extinguisher spell. That's the corniest spell I heard. All right, well, you, you you be careful. Nice booty. All right, let's get on out of here. I hope I don't die. It's not like she said it's not more than a dozen, so it, it shouldn't be a lot down here. You know what I'm saying? Music, chill. Where you come from? Yo, the way he jumped at me. Oh my god. Sir. Oh, I appreciate you jumping at me like that. Sit your butt. All right, now. And jump me like that. I'll, I'll, ooh, I'll kill you. Let me heal up a little bit, you know. Okay, healing going on and hit you with that fire extinguisher. I gotta save two out of eight of them. Shouldn't be too hard, right? Open up. Oh, shoot. Get better aim. I'm stuck. Oh, you aim bad. It's always the archer that be like taking me out, bro. Oh, help me, ah. Put out the fire. Next time you won't get away so easy. You hear me? Yo, I ain't gonna cap this quest kinda this quest kinda fire. This is pretty pretty intense. Trevi likes it. Can't do through the wall. Damn, that sucks. I missed you. All that blocking for what? Oh, good hit, good hit. Yo, 
Yo, I'm using a mouse, guys. And this mouse is so damn loud. Right, let me see if I can adjust it. Back on. Justin, ignore that stutter. I'm, I'm a little hyper. Where are y'all at? Who's better with, with two hands? I'm mad that hit me. Oh my stars and daughters. That's all I let that stupid I let that power attack hit me. What kind of trash can? Trash. You Mom. pay for that. Oh, you're bad. Ooh. Ooh. Garbage. They burn one. Damn. Taking too much time. Does he want to freaking hide? This damn coward. Alright, I saved the douchebag. Now I mean this guy can 1v1. You missed. Oh, that was a good hit. Trash. Missed again. Yo, the way he dodging? Ooh, you're bad. Oh, you're horrible. Don't heal. Oof. Got a Baggio? Baggio. We got $8. There's more safe. I like how she said half a dozen, and th th this is way more than half a dozen. First off, look at this. There's like 50 of them. What? Bruh. I'm about to die. Mercenaries, chill. Oh, crap. Look at all of them, bro. Look at. He got a fire sword?
Yo, if Lishar was by herself, she would be dead. Do you, do you see these people? She would be dead. Was using this strong behind mace on me? Damn. You're not killing me, dog. Oh, this arcane sickness is wild right now. You, just, just give me a second, wizard. I, I, I'll get to you in a second. This strong behind mace he has. What? See how strong it is? What? That's all you got? How much damage is doing? He, he was saucing me with this thing. Rest in peace. Elf. Damn. Oh, you say four of them damn stones out of eight? Oh, that's horrible. That is horrible. Dagger of despair, I'll take it. Cause I am in despair. Damn. Where is she? She said to meet back. How you doing, big booty girl? I'll be damned. That's what I call good timing. I take it you were successful? What about the fragments? Did you save them? I uh, use some of them. Well, I guess that'll have to do. Thanks. What about Sev? Did you find him? I did. Fuck. The little shit. I was hoping I could make him tell us who's behind all this. <sighs> well, whatever. No use crying over spilt milk, I guess. What's your name, anyway? Amidst all this, we didn't have time for formalities. Yo, Booting. Oh, I'm Baquito. You're pleased? Well, <laughs> that's good to hear. You're cute behind. I actually had the feeling that I was a little rough on you. Sorry for that. That's okay, really. I like that. Sometimes I just have a short fuse. That's okay. Anyway, let's talk about the reason you're here. Mm-hmm. For starters, tell me how you managed to get the old ranter to trust you. That doesn't happen very often. Ah, uh, tell the story about the damn visions and the damn temple and all that. Time. Story time. Does she know now? Uh huh. So you're saying that you learned all this the magic, the sword play in such a short time? Mm hmm. That's fascinating to say the least. I'm built like that. And these visions, if I understand correctly, you foresaw the death of the two apothecary? Yeah. <laughs> it does indeed. But hey, who am I to judge? Here you are, the mysterious stranger who appeared out of thin air and without much fuss took out an entire group of cell swords. It was very fussful. And even better, now you tell me that these skills come from studying magic for only a couple of weeks and that you can see the future. You certainly are full of s shit. What, you got to do? Not you, sorry. I mean, I, I just had a strange thought. But no, that would be crazy. Way too I'm Dragonborn? unlikely. Well, I'd like to speak freely, but I'm bound to my agreement with the Holy Order. However, I will tell Constantine and old Aranthiel about my theory. And you, you will probably have to be patient until the latter decides to put you in the picture. Sorry. But if my idea is correct, mm -hmm. <laughs> then we'll be in a position to really kick ass. Anyway, hold still for a moment. Ready? All right, let's do this. 
Don't worry. It'll just tickle a bit. The hell are you doing to me? You stuck in my soul. What you mean? Did she mess up? I died. Uh, are you all right? That wasn't on purpose. Really. You swear? You, you want to give me a little, a little warning next time? Sorry. As I said, I didn't mean to do that. I have no idea what just happened. The ritual isn't exactly harmless, but normally you shouldn't feel more than a weak tickle at most, regardless of how it goes down. But, hmm, maybe this has something to do with the strangeness of your aura. I already said this, but it's so different. What you mean, like, you, you getting butterflies? No? Oh. It's hard to explain. Somehow... Complex and cold, maybe. Oh, I mean, cold-hearted. But hey, I'm probably just out of practice. It worked, and that's what oh, matters. Oh, did? Your fever will now settle down to an endurable level, and maybe even vanish if you're careful. Really? And now I suggest you return to Constantine. I will get the stones to safety in the meantime. You need anything else? If not, see you later. We're going to meet again. I can feel it. Oh heck yeah! yeah. Keep behind. Yeah, what are those stone for? Some little stone fraggies? Well, put simply, they're supposed to protect us. But old Aranthiel will tell you more about it later. Alright, see you around. Take care. Keep behind. Huh? Go see Constantine in Ark. Cutie I'll see cutie. you back at the temple. Alright, y'all. That was a wild behind quest. Oh my stars. Oh, I forgot I have a scroll to teleport back. I'm over here trying to freaking walk. Uh, where is it? What the heck is it? Roll to teleport to Sun Temple. There we go. Hakama. Hakama Sukama. Sakama Sikama. Sakumba. Mega Labunga. Mm hmm. Teleport. Look at me flowing. Look at me. Poof. Alright, but y'all listen. Tragedy, why are you gonna end it right here? Yo, you are you are you enjoying this Skyrim and the Romad? Let me get like let me get like 50 likes. Yeah, I haven't been giving this series enough likes for me, but maybe maybe it's because this is the end of the random stream times. I don't know. But give me like 50 likes at least. That let me know you want to see more. Otherwise, I'm going to drop it. This is my if you don't want to see it, I ain't going to play it. Alright, I'm going to get on out of here, right? Tragedy, tragedy. <gasps> Boy. Boy, tragedy. Mm. Okay. You little smooch. But the cratchit. It's tragic. Ooh, tragedy, tragedy, wagy. Oh, baby. Ooh. How about the babies got him? Ooh. Oh, matters.